Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing part two of my crazy haul. Um, but this will be everything, like, not from Sephora. So, I have a few boxy charms. I have ColourPop. I have Glamlight. Um, yeah, so I'll just get into it because there is a lot here. So the first thing I have in front of me is my BoxyCharm Lux, which was from, well, it was the summer one. When did I get this? I don't remember. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm just going to pull things randomly. So this box I was really excited about because I received is this the box I got this in? Yeah. I received a Keys Soul Care product. So this is Alicia Keys brand, right? And this product was actually on my Sephora loves list. It's the Keys Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Priming Serum with Niacinamide. So yeah, this is a new, well, a newer product um, on the market. So I was really happy to see that they included it in the box and I'm trying to open it. It's a really nice glass bottle. Um, yeah, I'm just very excited about this. I think I'm going to use it as a primer. It does say it's an illuminating serum, but is there any other information? It says, shake gently and apply one to two pumps to moisturize skin using fingertips or a brush to blend. Can be used alone for an even natural glow or as a smooth, luminous base prior to applying makeup. To complete the ritual, recite the affirmation during application. What affirmation? <laughs> okay, that sounds very exciting. Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to use this as a primer. Let's just see like how illuminating it is. Oh, I like this kind of pump also. Shake, it said. Ooh, so that's what it looks like. Wow. That feels really nice and smooth. Oh, it does have... A smell. Kind of citrusy maybe? It actually smells like um, some Korean skincare products. Wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. You can see that it did leave a nice sheen. Okay, and it does feel like actually moisturizing. Okay. Very excited about this, but as you know, I have so many primers in my collection, and I actually also have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow that I also got in a boxy charm still in the box. So <laughs> this one will be, you know, in the queue, but um, or if it happens to, you know, roll in my, when I randomize my products for my shop, my stash, that could happen also. But yeah, I prefer like these illuminating type serums. I prefer to use them as primers just because it makes more sense to me. But yeah, that's really fun. And this product is $26 US. I think it's a lot more than that in Canada, if I remember correctly. Anyway, it is a product you can get at Sephora, but now that I saw that I can get keys and in my boxy charm, I'm probably never gonna buy it <laughs> at Sephora now. That's what happens um, with these brands that come in boxy charms. I'm like, oh, so I don't have to buy you full price ever again. Um, this next thing is actually from NARS, which is another exciting product. This is just a, like, general, not general, like their regular lipstick line, I guess. And it's a matte lipstick in the shade Pour Toujours, for always. And it looks like this. In their standard, like, NARS soft matte 
packaging. Ooh. Okay, I forgot about this. It looks like a really nice nude. The kind of like brownie nudes that I love. I'm gonna have to like re what's the word? I'm gonna have to see like how many bullet lipsticks I have brought into my collection because it's getting out of hand. Well, I didn't know I was getting this one, but I have so many and they all kind of look the same. <laughs> but this is a shade that I would wear, you know, every day. Not that I wear lipstick every day, but if I did, it would go with, you know, any look that I would do. So I'm really excited I got a shade like that. Because sometimes I get like bright reds and although I like them, they're not, you know, necessarily that wearable for my daily life. Um, the next product I got was um, actually another brand at Sephora that's pretty new, at least to Sephora Canada. And it's the brand Day, I guess is how you pronounce it, D-A-E. And this is the Cactus Flower Leave-In Conditioner. So I told you guys in my previous haul, I have a lot of leave-in conditioners now to go through. But this one sounds very intriguing. It says it calms frizz, softens and hydrates, and protects hair from breakage. And it's also a heat protector. It says right here that it heat protects up to 450 degrees. So this might be something that I'll use when I start using my new heat styling tool that I'll show you soon. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Another brand that's like kind of pricey at Sephora. That smells really good. I don't know what the scent is, but yeah. And this brand is also, well, this product at least says no sulfates, parabens, phthalates, or synthetic fragrance. So that's fun. And this retails for 26 USD according to this you know, the flyer you get in the boxy charms. Fun. So that can go with my hair care. Ugh, my allergies are bad today, so sorry I keep scratching my nose. Um, here is another skincare product from Elemis. I've actually quite liked uh, a lot of Elemis products that I've tried. So this one though, maybe is not for me because it's a clay wash, a clarifying clay wash. It says skin clearing facial wash for blemish prone skin. So I have super dry skin, although I do have some blemishes right now, probably because I'm eating garbage, <laughs> but um, this is probably not something I would wear as I would use as my daily cleanser. It says this deeply cleansing, non-drying, well, non-drying facial wash formulated with clay, hawthorn, and boldo leaf cleanses pores and purifies skin. Removing impurities and excess oils, skin is left feeling balanced and looking clear for a radiant, mattified, and healthier looking complexion. That last part kind of scared me. I don't like my skin to be mattified, but I'll try it out. It, it's a huge, look how big this is. I feel like they always give, Elemis has such big sizes, unless these are like value sizes that we're getting. Um, but, and this is $49 US. So I was looking over there because I thought I had an Elemis hand cream in the same size, but it's actually it's actually a Hava, which is like very similar branding in my opinion. But anyway, this is really good too, by the way, that I got in a boxy charm. Uh, yeah, so this will go with my skincare. I'll actually have to track it in my skincare update, which is long overdue. I have another bag full of things to talk about in that video. Oh dear. Yeah. Next. This, oh, this is also, 
This wasn't, did all this come in the same box? Because this is all, okay, no, this came in some other box. Okay, I was going to say, this is a lot of like Sephora, like brands sold at Sephora in the same box, which is not usual for BoxyCharm, but this came from another one. So this is from Wishful, which is Huda Beauty's skincare brand. It's the Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. So this sounds like it's up my alley, but it does say it's suitable for all skin types and dermatologist tested. So it looks like this. I actually thought this was a cleansing balm <laughs> uh, until now, but it's actually a moisturizer. It just feels like the packaging is very like cleansing balm style. Oh, that has a nice aroma. So that's what it looks like. It looks like a very thick moisturizer. So I think I'm gonna like this. Let me actually take some off here to test the texture. Oh yeah, I see why it's called a jelly balm. Cause it's very balmy and thick. That feels like almost Vaseline-like. So that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so I'll have to try this out too at some point. It just says, gentle, simple, effective, suitable for all skin types, made in South Korea. And this retails for $43. And those are US prices. So I can only imagine how much that is in Canada. And then this is a free to be you. Is that the brand? No, this is from the brand Uve. UV or er, Exxon. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in English. Uh, yeah, Uve Beauty. And it is a three full size and three mini makeup blenders. BoxyCharm sends so many. Um, beauty blenders. It's getting crazy. Oh my god. They just fell everywhere. Okay. These feel very squishy and fun. So these are the little mini ones. And then these are the full size. I actually think these might be very good. Because they feel very soft and squishy. Unlike my stupid... These ones from Pure, I hate this, so I'm probably gonna just get rid of it soon. Um, but yeah, I won't be breaking into these ones because I still have ones that are even older that aren't packaged, so I wanna get those, you know, used first. Yeah, but I'll just keep these in this little box for now. And this, oh my God, what? Okay, this is not true. This is apparently $65. <laughs> Who's gonna pay $65 for these sponges? They better be groundbreaking. Yeah, I think that was just something they threw in to like boost the price of the box. But anyway, this is another thing I was so excited to see. This is from the brand Beauty Bakery. And it's the Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Palette. And I've heard people raving about these Beauty Bakery palettes. How do I open this? It's very bulky though. Um, but I think that's like their brand aesthetic. So it comes in this box that you open. Oh, okay. So the palette itself is not bulky. So this was just the box that it came in which is like very extreme would be cute like for gifting though so this is the palette can i open it oh my god it looks beautiful look at this these are all shimmer it is called a blush lighter palette so you can see they're all shimmer shades um, and it has a little thing here. It says, Toasting to the Sweet Life. Oh, and it says it in French also. So that's really cute. I feel like 
Is it Emily Noel that raves about this palette all the time? I think so. And she's like the blush queen, so I'm very excited about this. And all of those shades are beautiful. Like there's not one that I, I'm like, I wouldn't wear that. I would wear all of these. And especially these three for fall coming up, they'd be really nice mauve tones. So yeah, this was a great thing to get in the box. And this is $38. U.S. I'm gonna just stop saying U.S. because <laughs> that's gonna get annoying. I'm gonna put it back in this box, I guess, although it's so big. I might keep this box for gifts or like, I don't know, putting baked goods in. <laughs> it's not deep enough, I guess. Anyway, so that was like, I feel, a very successful box. I mean, don't count the Wishful because that was from somewhere else. But everything else I showed you... Oh, and what else? Yeah, everything else I showed you was from this one Lux box. And this also had the Patrick Ta Beauty Major Glow Lip Shine. Um, but I already had that, so I'm actually selling that on my Poshmark if anyone's interested. I always leave the link below. Um, yeah, because normally when I get duplicates, if it's something I think my mom will like, I just give it to her. Otherwise, I sell it on my Poshmark because it's brand new. Um, and I know that my mom already has that lip gloss also because I bought it for her. So yeah, it's on my Poshmark if anyone cares. I have another BoxyCharm box here. So this is the one I just got, I guess. What month is it? August. June, July. So was that the July Lux? I don't know. Anyway, this is my August box. Actually, no. This is like not even my August box. This is from before. Oh my God, I'm getting confused. <laughs> yeah, so I did get another box after this one, but I think I already put all that stuff away. So whatever. This one was with the other one. Not that anyone cares, but. So in this box, this is just the regular like standard box. I got a Alley Oop Stack the Odds Multi-Use Face Stacker and this was actually my choice product. I don't remember what the other things were but this is what I wanted. It's one of these things. Oh, how do I open this? Oh. It's one of these like stacking things and you have a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer and they're all creams. So I thought that could be fun. Um, obviously I haven't used it yet, but it looks cute. And when it's all together, it's just a little compact thing. So that's fun. And this apparently is $38. Another skincare product. This is from Kate Somerville. This is the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I believe I've tried this before in a deluxe size sample and I don't remember loving it, but I don't think I hated it either. So anyway, this is the full size, I guess. Um, this is, how much is in here? 1.7 fluid ounces. Yeah, that would be a full size for a moisturizer. This is $76. That's crazy. That's what it looks like. It does kind of smell like goat milk. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of creeps me out. Um, yeah, I don't remember if I... I don't remember what I didn't like about this, but anyway, that's another moisturizer I won't be getting to anytime soon. Um, this is from Beauty For Certain, and there's a really pretty girl on it. 
I don't know if that's the brand owner or what. I feel like my camera is not focusing good anymore. I think I touched something, but I don't know anything about this camera, so it's not gonna get fixed. <laughs> what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a mascara, okay. A tubing mascara. Okay, I'm excited now. <laughs> I don't have any tubing mascaras, and I really wanted to try the new one from Tarte. It was a sample on Sephora, but it got sold out because like everyone wanted to try it, I guess. But this is the packaging. It looks really fun. Mm, I don't like to open mascaras, but I'm very intrigued to see the wand. Okay, it's pretty like standard. Like a better than sex or like a ABH. What's that mascara called? I'm wearing it today. ABH Lash Brag. So it's like that hourglass kind of wand. And this one is not super oversized, which I like, because sometimes those wands get out of control and then you get mascara like all over your bottom lashes. But I'm excited about this. I just have a lot of other mascaras that are older that I need to use first. Then this product is from the Beauty Crop. And this is a liquid eyeshadow duo. Ooh, there's a matte side and a like shimmery side. And the shades are cinnamon and fudge. Ooh. This is like a fun fall theme product, I feel. So this retails for $18. I don't think I've ever tried the Beauty Crop before, so I don't know if it's good or what, but I'm excited about these shades. They look really pretty. And then I also have, is this the last thing in here? Yeah, in this box anyway. I guess there were other things, but I don't know where they are. This is a palette from Eloise. I actually have another palette from them that I don't know if I've tried yet. Um, but this is called Sahara Nights. And, ooh, it looks very pretty. It is an all shimmer palette though. Um, nice like rosy tones. This. Um, retails for $35 and it says this palette features six unique super sparkly and highly pigmented shimmers that truly leave all your nights golden okay cute I don't love all shimmer palettes um, which is something I'm realizing lately I'm doing I'm gonna do a palettes on the chopping block kind of series um, I might film that today, maybe, because I already started, already started it, and a lot of the palettes I realize are all shimmer palettes, so I guess it's not something like I reach for a lot, but I'll have to try the formula, because if it's really pretty, then I don't care, because if you have a good shimmer, I don't mind using it just like as a one shadow look, you know? I thought there was a spider, but there wasn't. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for this box. But now I have things that are from BoxyCharm. Um, actually, yeah, so like I mentioned, after these two boxes, I have another one. So it must have been June, July, and now August. So I think I already put a lot of the stuff away, but I remember these two products were in that box. So I have another clear brow gel from the brand Queen, the Bow Down Transparent Brow Glue, it's called. And I got this lipstick from Beauty For Certain, so actually the same brand as that tubing mascara. I haven't tried this yet, it did come broken, but I was able to fix it. And look at the packaging, it's very like trendy. Um, yeah, so it's all kind of smushed because the bullet was, you know, not in the 
thing anymore, but I was able to put it back in. And this is another nude lipstick <laughs> in my collection. I'm gonna have to do like a, like I'm doing for my palettes, a chopping block series. I'll have to do it for lipsticks too, I feel. Cause I'm just getting, I don't even have any more room for lip products and I just keep getting them. So yeah. Um, okay, so now this stuff is from Boxy, I think it's called, I don't know, they have like three different things, Mega Drop or Drop Pop Up, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anymore, and that's where I got these things, oh, except for this, this is also from the last Boxy charm I got, it's a highlighter from Aesthetica. And this looks pretty. It's the packaging, just kind of basic. Um, but this looks really pretty. I don't know how well that's coming on. Well, I guess you could see. It's a pink undertone highlighter. And I generally like those kind of highlighters, so I think this might be good. Let me swatch it. It feels really nice and smooth oh that is gonna be blinding so it's kind of like a duochrome highlighter with a pink shift and i love colored highlighters so i'm excited about this too okay now is the product from the boxy mega drop or whatever it's called so the first thing i got is because of lauren may beauty um, this is like one of her favorite lip products. It's from the brand Rowan and it's a liquid lip balm in the shade Charlie. And the packaging is really fun. It's like this clear acrylic. And this is just a really nice nude lip gloss. Um, yeah, so she said this was like, oh, that smells good. It's like a minty smell. Yeah. This is one of her favorite like lip glosses, I guess. And when I saw it was like, I think $5, I just added it to my order. Not that I, I actually should be on a lip gloss no buy, but I just couldn't pass up that deal. So yeah, do you want to swatch of that? I always forget to swatch things. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, you're terrible at YouTube. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so it's quite sheer, but there's still a nice pigment to it. Yeah, that's going to be really pretty. Is this a plumping gloss? Because it does smell minty. Mm, it just says 0% stickiness, 100% shine. Kiss that old lip gloss goodbye and say hello to your new favorite liquid lip balm. Kiss My provides the nourishment of a balm using mango and grapeseed oil, also while providing the perfect high shine finish, plus a touch of mint to surprise whoever you choose. Oh, okay. So it's just like, smells like mint. But it's really nice and like not too much, you know? Um, then... This is another thing I bought because of a YouTuber. <laughs> this is from the brand Peach and Lily, and it's the Glass Skin Veil Mist. I, well, I think Lauren May Beauty also recommended this, but I also heard about this from, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but it's, she's like my new favorite. I recently discovered her. I think her name is Jaylon. But it's spelled with a C, like C-E-Y. So her YouTube name is J Loves Makeup, but it's C-E-Y. C -E I don't know. Um, but I'll link her below because she always talks about this. And she has very dry skin, I know. So I'm hoping that I really love this also. And... Apparently, I think you can get this brand at Ulta in America, but I'm in Canada, so I've never seen Peach and Lily anywhere, but it's a huge like glass bottle, and this was also like $5. 
um, and it has peach extract and Vita com complex. It says mist liberally throughout the day wherever, whenever skin needs instant glassy radiance or a hydration boost. Wear under or over makeup. So I'm very excited about this. I actually think I want to try it right now. Even though I do have setting spray on. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think I smell anything, <laughs> but the mist was amazing. It's like very fine, but it goes everywhere. Okay, yeah. So I do see why people like this already. So that's going to be going with my setting sprays. Another product from Rowan that I had to get is the 1111 eyeshadow palette. This is very expensive normally um, at Sephora. Actually, I don't know if they still carry Rowan at Sephora, but this used to be on their on the app and it was on my loves list. It comes in its own little pouch that says Rowan. But this looks beautiful. It's just a little quad. There's the packaging. But look at these shades. Oh my god. They're so like wet looking. So I think this is kind of like a creamy situation. Yes. So yeah. It's feeling very What's the word? It has like a thick base to it. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, this is gonna be beautiful. Um, and I think they're all, yeah, they're all the same formula, but different, like they're all kind of creamy, but different form, different textures is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that first one was like the flaky metallic, and then the rest are kind of more... Oh, these were terrible swatches. <laughs> the rest are kind of more like... Mm, sparkly, I guess you would say. Oh, but that first one was shocking. Okay, I'm very excited about this also. So this is like a a kind of shadow you would either top over another palette or just use on its own because you can't really like pick these up with a brush from what I can tell so it's kind of like you just swipe it on once with your finger type thing but yeah that is really beautiful and this was like not expensive either I don't remember maybe like $16 or less so yeah I'm happy that I finally have this and that I didn't have to pay full price then I have another palette which when I saw this I was like I have to have that because it's a new release it's from Lunar Beauty and I've never tried Lunar Beauty before right yeah I know um, and this is the new palette from them, the Nude Prism, and I watched a lot of reviews on this collection and everyone was saying it's like the best one yet. This is Manny MUA's brand if you didn't know, and it looks beautiful. Look at this packaging. It has like a raised moon on it and like these cherry blossoms I guess they are. And this is a neutral palette, but I like neutrals, even though today I'm wearing blue. <laughs> but look how beautiful. Oh my god. So the only the middle row is shimmer shades, and then this row and this row are mattes. I love that setup. Because um, I love to start my look with mattes and then put a shimmer like on the lid. So I'm, you know, assuming I'm gonna love this already. And it just looks super beautiful. 
And I also like that you can do like a really light look, but there's also like these deeper shades here that you can use to like, you know, make it more glam, I guess. So I'm very excited about this. Let's just swatch. Oh my God. These shimmer shades feel so smooth and creamy. Look at this. Oh yes. Beautiful. Okay, I'm excited. And let's try the mattes. Let's try the, yes, so those are cherry blossoms because there's a shade called cherry blossom right here. So let's swatch it. Oh, even the mattes feel super like finely milled. Let's swatch apricot and moody. Oh yes, okay, this is gonna be good. So even this light pink, look how pigmented it showed up. Okay, yes. I'm so excited about this. And this was $15. And I don't remember how much. This is actually something I almost bought full price from Lunar Beauty. But then like I would have been, you know, charged in US and then there's shipping and then probably customs and duties and all that. So I just got it for $15 from BoxyCharm. I'm so excited. Okay, then there's just one more thing from BoxyCharm, Drop, whatever, Mega Shop. <laughs> the, this is a wave maker. So this is the styling tool I was talking about. It's called the Wave Maker Triple Hot Iron from the brand Complex Culture. So this is actually a brand that I have some makeup from. Um, and I've been using it a lot because it happened to have been the last few shot my stashes. So apparently they make makeup and tools. But this is one of those like beach wavers. This thing. So when you use it, I'm running out of space to put things. So it's like a curling iron, but three barrels. So it opens like this. I'm sure you've seen these before. They were very popular like last year even. So you put your hair like between so that it makes like a waves like this. You know what I mean? So I've seen these around, but I was waiting to get one on a really good price because I don't know like how often I'm actually going to use it. And I think this was $25 or $35. So that's a great deal. And it feels really nice and good quality. So and I like the color. So I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna have to try it out soon, but I do want to get a haircut because my hair is like way too long and it's all like one length, so it doesn't like look that great. <laughs> so I might try this after. Yeah, but I'm so excited that I finally have one of these. So maybe stay tuned if ever my hair is looking wavy and nice. It's probably because I use this. So that is everything from BoxyCharm. Um, yes, that was a lot of stuff. And that was actually not even everything because I already put some other stuff away, like I said. But anyway, that's that. So then I have a package from ColourPop. And this one, I wanted to do a video on it, and now it's not relevant anymore. That should be the theme of these haul videos, <laughs> but I'll show you anyway, and if anyone's interested, I can still do the video. I just feel like this collection is not relevant for fall because it was the summer what was this even called? <laughs> Shell? Something to do with seashells? I don't even know anymore. Shell, yeah. What the shell? I don't know. It was like the summer collection. So, 
Yeah, it looks really pretty. It's just, I'm not going to use this in the fall, probably. I mean, unless, again, it gets pulled into my shop, my stash, I always try and make those products work. But yeah, I was really excited to do a video on this, because even though I'm in Canada, I actually get my ColourPop orders quite quickly. I don't know how, because they come all the way from LA. But yeah, so I did get this like on launch, well, I ordered it on launch day, and then I got it pretty soon after. And I was going to do a video, but I just didn't have time. So let's just start with the face palettes, I guess. So this one is called Might As Shell. So this is the lighter of the two. And these are Super Shock highlighter palettes. And that's one of the main reasons I got this collection. Because after trying the Super Shock Highlighter from the Winnie the Pooh collection, I was very impressed with that. And then I was like, well, now I want like fun colors of them. Because the Winnie the Pooh was all like standard highlighter shades. But look at these. So there's like um, a super like glittery one here. This one's called Low Key. And then there's Sunlit. And then this pink one is Squad. Am I reading this right? Probably not. Forget those names. <laughs> anyway, there's like two standard kind of shades and then a pink and a purple. And I'm very excited about these. So let me swatch this one. They feel... I don't know how to describe the Super Shock Highlighter formula. It almost feels like a gel. It's super interesting and it's so smooth and soft. Um, then the pink, I guess I'm just swatching the whole thing. The pink and the purple. Oh my god, look at those. I'm so excited. But yeah, not really fall kind of products for me at least. I also really love the clear like acrylic packaging look so that was might as shell and then the darker one is called shell yeah <gasps> look at that so this one i think i'm gonna have to use it more like blush toppers because it's obviously quite vibrant for my skin tone yeah so in this one there's like more like a peachy one. Oh my god, it feels beautiful. A very pink one, a fuchsia, and an even well, yeah. I guess on camera it's looking not as it's looking lighter on camera, but this one looks very purple in person. Like much deeper than the other one in the other palette. Oh, but that first one could work for me as a highlighter, this one. But then obviously these two are more blush toppers. And this purple, yeah, that'll probably give me a cast. So we'll see. But just because they say highlighters, like you can use them for other things. You can use them as eyeshadow, you know, whatever you want. So I am very happy that I have these. And now I don't need any more Super Shock highlighters, individual at least. <laughs> and then this came with a Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. So I actually have one of these from the Secret Admirer collection, but I use it as a highlighter. Um, and this one has like a really fun iridescent compact. And this is the shade Skinny Dippin'. It actually looks very similar to the other one. It's like a pink, you know, and it smells like coconut. So I don't know when I'm going to use this. I should have been using it in the summer months on my body, but of course I didn't. So we'll have to see. It's called a shimmering body powder, but again, you can use it as a highlighter. And then it came with three lip glosses. 
These are all clear, but with a shift kind of thing. So this first one, and I love the packaging. It's like their other products, but the cap is iridescent and it just looks really cute. So this one is the shade Sunshine Required. I don't think there's a scent on these. They feel quite thick. I don't know how they're going to wear because I haven't tried them yet, of course. And then there's... But I have heard good things about the So Glassy lip glosses. This one is called My Goodies. <laughs> Pretty. So the first one was like a golden shift. This one looks to be a pink. And then I think the last one is going to be a purple. This one's called Beach Please. And they're all the same packaging. So I'm just going to show you the swatches if you can see on camera. It's very hard to pick up the shift. Those are the three glosses. Pretty. So I would use these probably more as toppers, but they could be really pretty on their own also. And then the last two products in the line are eyeshadow palettes, and these look so pretty. This one is called Shell Shocked, and these remind me of Huda Beauty palettes, especially like the Mercury Retrograde, like look at this, even the packaging, you know, and the swirly like this kind of shade looks beautiful. I haven't tried these again, so I don't know if they're any good, but I like the color story and I like that these mattes will work good as like in um, transition shades or this one to deepen up. So I'm very excited about this actually. So these two, this pink and this like turquoise are like the matte with shimmer formula, which I actually don't hate from ColourPop. So I don't mind those, but I know some people really don't like that. Ooh. Look at those, beautiful. Okay, this might be very good too. I've liked every eyeshadow palette I've tried from ColourPop so far, so I have high hopes. And then the last one is called What the Shell. And this is a more like warm tone one. Sorry about the lighting. The It's very cloudy out and the sun is going down very early these days. So this one is more wearable, I guess, and more fall, going into fall kind of palette for me. But this looks very beautiful. Okay, let's swatch one matte with shimmer, this pink one, and this very shiny. And I think these have um, super shock formulas in them too, I believe, because that's what it feels like. Ooh, this one's more like an iridescent topper shade, and then there's those. So, yeah, I loved this, how this collection looked. I normally don't get the non-collabs from ColourPop because they're not always as good, I feel, but this one really got me with the whole theme of like, the shells and the sand, and it's just really cute and summery, although now I'm more into fall, so we'll see, but I did get that collection. If anyone still wants me to do a video, I could. And then I just have one more package, and I'll have to go quickly because it looks very dark. So this one I'll just go quickly because I'm actually going to do a video on this collection and it is the Glam Life and Michaela Pot 2. So I never got part one because, well actually I feel like I didn't even know about it until later and 
it was more like a rainbow kind of palette and I'm not really into that but when I saw the promo for this collection there's something about like this color of green and like everything that I just had to try it and I also have been hearing a lot of good things about glam light from like smaller youtubers and more like in like youtubers that review indie brands and they've just been like raving about it really so I just had to get it and I will say I don't think I'm gonna order from glam light again unless something like blows my mind because I had to pay like $40 um, customs on this and on top of that they charge like in US so I had to pay like a conversion rate which is a lot and I did get the whole collection so it was quite pricey so I don't think I'll be doing that again but I am glad that I got this so like I said I got the whole collection I didn't get the PR collection I think it was called because the only difference was like you get a makeup bag I think and I was like I don't need to go that extreme I do really like Michaela Michaela is from TikTok if you didn't know and she is like the first person I ever saw on TikTok like not just beauty content related like in general and I was like wow what is this because she was like she would come on like with no makeup at all and then do like the whole transformation and I was like oh my god plus she talks really fun because she has a Boston accent <laughs> so I really just like her and I feel like she knows what she's talking about and she just seems like a really nice person in general and I just really like her a lot so on top of really wanting to try this collection, I didn't mind supporting her either. Um, so, where do I even begin? I guess the lashes. So you guys know I don't usually wear lashes, but they came in the collection, so I have them now. And they're all dusty because I was waiting to film this video. So there's two sets of lashes in the collection. The first one is called High Fashion and these are a little extreme for me. Like look at that. <laughs> but I will try them. I'll put them in my, you know, my Tiny Decisions app and I might pull them to try. And But these ones look more like something I would wear. They're still quite big. But these ones are called Daydreamer. They're more like wispy, not as voluminous as the other ones. Yeah, see how my camera like doesn't want to focus anymore? I don't know what's up with that. So those are the lashes. You also got a... Oh, it's actually called Pot 2 like P-A-H-T because of her accent, which I really like. That's funny. And this is the highlighter palette. So it looks, is there something wrong with my, okay. I thought there was something weird here. That's what it looks like. And it has like this gold like button, but it's just like decoration, but it, I don't know, it makes it look more expensive, I guess. And look at these highlighters, like, wow. You can't even see how pretty they are on camera because they all have like a really fun kind of shift to them. And I imagine they're gonna be blinding because I know Michaela likes a very intense highlighter. So I'm very excited to try this. Let's just swatch them while we're here. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, wow. <laughs> this one I might be using as a eyeshadow because that's a very gold for me. But those look beautiful. Oh, and there's even brushes in the collection. So this is just called the brush set, I guess. 
yeah and it's just eye brushes it's a four four piece brush set designed for seamless blending and effortless eyeshadow application so these look like these are all brushes that i love to use especially these fluffy ones this like angled one maybe more as like to do like a wing liner or something but I can always use more brushes like this so I'm happy about that and plus I love the color of them I don't know how they perform but they look pretty <laughs> then there's the lip kits so in each kit you get three products this one is called the Lucky Charm lip set Okay, so the lipstick is very luxurious. I think you click on it. Oh, no, you press down and then it comes out the bottom. Fancy. Yes, so this is the one that's like concealer nude. So, I don't know. I don't know about this color. Maybe with a very deep lip liner. And just this on the center is how I would wear this, but that is a very light nude. And then the gloss, actually these glosses are very similar to the ColourPop ones I just showed you. They're like iridescent. Oh, but this feels more smooth than the ColourPop one, actually. That looks beautiful. And then the lip liner is actually not much deeper. <laughs> Than the lipstick so we'll see like look how light this lip liner is anyway I don't know about this one I know that these are shades that Michaela wears so it makes sense in the collection but for me maybe a little too light but I don't know I haven't tried it yet so it might look really pretty but this other one is more wearable for me this is the Golden Dreams lip set, so same packaging, layout, all of that, but this one is more like mauve, so there's the shade of the lip liner, or like a rosy, I guess, and then the lip gloss is more like a gold shift, like a yellow gold, like a nude, and then the lipstick is beautiful and i don't think you can see on camera but there's like a really cool printing on the lipstick that makes it look like fabric almost it just feels like quite high-end um so i kind of like that so this one i feel is very promising and then the last two products are the most exciting i guess because there's actually not one, but two eyeshadow palettes in this collection. So the first one is a 10 pan palette. And there's Michaela, by the way, looking beautiful. So look at this packaging. It's like ABH, how they have like the velvet kind of feel, but I just love this color of green. I don't know what you call it, like a forest green? It's just beautiful. So, look at these shades. Oh my god. If you like green, I think you will love this. I don't even know if this is still available. <laughs> I should have checked that. I can leave some information below. Um, but this just screams fall and everything that's beautiful in the world. <laughs> I just love it so much. I mean, I love how it looks. I don't know if I love it on my eyes because, again, I haven't tried it yet. But it just looks beautiful and I love the that one row of shimmer and one is matte. I feel like I have to have mattes in my eyeshadow palettes these days. So I am very excited about this. I have to swatch them. Not all of them because we'll be here forever. Oh my god. So... That looks crazy painted. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm scared. 
I'm scared about how pigmented this matte green is because but look at these shimmers oh my god this one is actually a duochrome if you can see there's like a purple red kind of thing going on or a purple brown or a blue brown I don't know I'm very excited that green is no joke but I also like that there's neutrals because I like to do like a neutral base with a pop of color and I feel like I can do that with these like with the browns so yeah you don't have to go like full green with this which I like and then the main palette the big one this is a oh my god I almost dropped it <laughs> this is a 30 color palette and you might hear that noise that scared me when I first got this because I thought like something shattered but it's actually because there's like gold nuggets in the in the top of this it's just crazy yes a little like extreme for my style but I think it's very Michaela so look at this and by the way there are no duplicates in the big one and the small one so that's another thing that pushed me to just get the whole collection because if this was just a mini version of the big one I probably would have just got this but I don't know you tell me what you would have done or what you did do if you got this but look at these shades so the reason I love this is because it's colorful but it's not rainbow you know it's more like nuanced is that the word it's more like not the primary colors but they're like more jewel tone grungy versions I'm just very drawn to this color story and I'm very excited to use this so it's very green purple but you also have blue um where do i even begin let's just swatch some of these i have to do the green metallic this blue one oh my god this like teal matte shade this like grungy green these feel so smooth and buttery oh my god look at those shimmers okay so yeah obviously I'm very excited about this <laughs> I've been waiting to film this video but I will check if it's even still available I feel like maybe I shouldn't film a video if it's no one can even get it anymore because that's kind of annoying but I hope you can get it and you don't have to get the whole collection well at least you didn't when I ordered you can get like just the palettes I think just the lip kit anyway I'll leave the site below and some like information if I can but that was the whole collection of the Glam Light and Michaela Part 2 and oh here's a picture of if I would have got the PR collection there's this velvet makeup bag which is really pretty I just don't need any more makeup bags so yeah that was everything for my haul right yes so finally I can clean up this room because I've just been having boxes all on the floor here waiting to film this video so yeah, I'm very excited to put everything away and get organized and if you saw anything here today that you really would like more information about or you want to see a demo or a video or whatever, just let me know below and if you like hauls, like this video so I know if you want me to keep doing them and I think that's it so yeah give this video a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye